This DV8 FS15 Hammer Forge stubby front bumper will be for the 07 to 18 JK owners looking for a front end upgrade. This will help with approach angles on the trail and will come with all of the basic options that you want out of a front bumper, like recovery points, protection, and lighting options. Installing this will be a direct bolt on at one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, and we'll show you how to do that in just a minute. Like I mentioned, stubby bumpers are beneficial in a couple of different ways. Now, in comparison to a full width or a mid width front bumper, you won't be getting all of that big protection in the front from any collision for your tires, but it will provide good approach angles and tire clearance on the trail, unlike a full width bumper. Also, unlike a full width or a mid width, this will be half the weight since you really only have the front section to deal with. Nonetheless, this will be made of quarter inch and 3 16th inch steel with a textured black powder coat finish to resist any rust or corrosion making this thing heavy duty. I personally think this will be one of the best looking stubby front bumpers that we have with how it's designed and like I mentioned before, you are getting some standard options out of this. You will have holes in the front to accept all of the OEM fog lights as well as a bull bar with two tabs on the top for mounting any accessory lighting. This will also come with two welded D-ring mounts and a winch plate capable to accept a winch up to 12,000 pounds. And lastly, you have the protection of the bull bar up top that's gusseted with the DV8 plating for reinforcement and some extra style. For a stubby front bumper, this will be at a pretty average price point, and for what this comes with, I think it's pretty fair for all of the options that you're getting. This will be about $420 at the moment, and with the stubby front bumper page ranging anywhere from $250 all the way up to $1,000. Usually when you go down in price, you're not getting as many options like fog lights or bull bars or even options for a winch plate. On the other hand, once you get up there in price, you'll be seeing most of those options that this has, but with lighter material, bigger front end protection, like a full stinger or a grill guard, as well as drop in winch plates. With most of these bumpers, you will have to mix and match with the options that you want. However, I think this has a lot of those basic options that a lot of those don't have at a great price. Like I mentioned, install will be a one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter since it's completely bolt on. And now we can pull the Jeep into the shop and show you how we bolt this up. We're gonna begin this installation by removing the factory bumper. The first step, we're gonna remove this plastic air dam underneath. So we have four of these clips up front. You can use a pair of pliers and you just want to pull the middle out and then that clip will release. So we're going to do that to all four of these and then we're going to get the two on the back side. Now there's two of these on the back side, there's one on either end. We're going to do the same thing, just grab it, pull the center out and then I'll release it. So now that we have the plastic shroud off of the bottom, we're going to take this upper piece off. There's two push pins, one on either side. You're gonna pry up on the center of them to release them, and then we'll remove it. So once you have those two pins out, you can slide it to the side and pull it all the way out. So with that plastic piece off, gives you a little extra room to work in there. Uh, there's four nuts on either side, two are on the inside, two are on the outside. Uh, you can get to the center ones from the top pretty easily, the outside ones you can get from the bottom. So we're gonna go ahead and take those off. So we're gonna use an 18 millimeter socket to remove these nuts. Now we have all the nuts off of the bumper, but before we pull the bumper completely off, you want to disconnect the fog light harness as well. So we're going to squeeze our clip and unplug that, and then we want to just get this harness off of the bumper. So there are a couple zip ties that you'll need to cut off. So we're going to just lift the bumper up and off to remove it. So if your Jeep came with factory fog lights, you can actually remove those and install them in the DV8 bumper. So we're going to do that right now. To remove the stock fog lights, you're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver. So 
now that we have the fog lights out, we're gonna assemble those into the new bumper. DV8 provides us with new hardware, so you won't need to reuse the old hardware. Uh, we're just gonna install these clips on each one of these holes. And once you have all four of your clips on, we're gonna go ahead and fit the fog light in there, and then we're gonna use our new screws, and we'll go ahead and screw those in. Same thing with the other side, we want to install all four of our clips. Then we're going to insert our fold light. So now that we have the fog lights assembled in the bumper, our hardware is ready. We're ready to put this on and then bolt it up. So we're going to lift it up, make sure that our studs stick through the frame, and then we're going to go underneath and uh, start getting this bolted on. So now that we have the bumper on, we're ready to start putting our hardware on. For the two outside bolts, we're going to put a flat washer, then we're going to do a lock washer on each, and then we're going to install the nut. For these two nuts, there's going to be different sizes. The bottom one is a slightly larger nut. It's going to use a 19 millimeter socket, and the upper one is going to use a 16 millimeter socket. For the lower stud, we're going to use a washer, a lock washer, and one of the larger nuts. And for the upper hole, you're going to need to install a bolt. We're going to do a bolt, a lock washer, and a washer. Same thing for the other side. The lower stud is going to get a flat washer, a lock washer, and one of the larger nuts. And then we're going to do a bolt up top on the inside with a lock washer and a flat washer. And same thing for the two outsides. The lower one is going to use the larger flat washer, lock washer, and nut. And then the upper one is going to use a flat washer, a lock washer, and the slightly smaller nut. So after you have all the hardware in, we're going to go around and tighten them all up. So we're going to use a 19 millimeter socket to tighten the bottom one. We're going to use a 16 for the top one. Same thing for the other outside. The lower one is going to use a 19 millimeter. And the upper one is going to use a 16 millimeter. For our bolt up top, we're going to use an 18 millimeter. And last but not least, we are going to plug our fog lights back in. Now DV8 does supply a winch plate, so if you do have a winch or you're looking to get a winch, you'll have the hardware to install that. However, with everything tightened up, that wraps up our review and install. Check out more at ExtremeTerrain.com.